Um, I wanted to mention a couple things that reminded me of something. Um, I can't, this, the video that I have linked to my last video, it's crazy because I'm coming across these videos talking about topics that I literally just talked about in my videos and then all of a sudden it, it pops up. So that's how I know that like it might just be the microphone on my phone that you know how when you say certain things the ad pops up on your phone and or it comes I don't know maybe that's just the universe that's just how because sometimes I could say certain things or think something in my head and it'll pop up on basic television on a commercial or something you know but um I'm I'm glad that people on a higher spectrum in a different situation are having these discussions. And doing these podcasts is to try to understand people's mindsets. I'm going to mention probably three different things in this video that's important. That all play a factor in different ways, right? I have noticed, like, I have been, I've been in situations where I was friends with um, females for years. And as soon as they get a man, they act like you don't exist. They cut all ties with you. Um, I don't understand that. I feel like, um, everything should be a balance because your homegirl was there for you before you got into the relationship, before you got married, right? I'm not saying that your friend comes first before your man. No. Um... But who are you going to lean on when things go sour when you, or just like, you know, when you, like, you can't put everything, like this lady was saying in the video, a lot of women tend to put all their eggs in one basket and they, they don't have nobody else to talk to but their, their husband or their, their long-term significant other. They cut everyone else off. Sometimes that's their husband or a significant other controlling them to say, like, listen, I don't want you to talk to this person no more because they're single. Let me make up any excuse because they're single, they're not married, or I don't think that's healthy. I remember one time I was friends with this girl. She got, she, she got married. I was, I was friends with her before she got married. She didn't invite me to her wedding. It was she got she, she said it was just a just the peace thing, whatever. I didn't find out so later. I still supported it. It was her idea to go out to the bar and to the club. When he found out, he thought that I it was my idea. He thought I had something to do with it. You know, and I told her I don't think this is a good idea. And got mad at me. I'm not the type of person that's going to um, jeopardize anyone's relationship or marriage. I'm not that type of person. Um, I'm not a hater. I'm a congratulator. Okay? I'm just not that type of person. I support healthy relationships. I support healthy marriages. But, um... I have learned, like, hey, you know what? It is what it is, you know? If your friend chooses to put a man and her husband before your friendship, I mean, if a, if a woman chooses, or a man chooses to, like, act like you don't exist, and they, they're all about their, their relationship, if they don't make a little bit of time for you, then... That's on them. That's their loss. You know? Eventually, they'll be calling your phone, hitting you up, and say, Hey, how are you? How you been, stranger? But, um, I don't think that's right. I feel like everything should be a balance. Balance. Um, so they were talking about that could be a red flag. 
And I agree. I feel like when someone um, lists their spouse or someone isolates themselves from their friends or from their family members or loved ones, whatever, it's usually a sign of the fact that they're an abusive, controlling relationship. Another thing that I have noticed a lot of women tend to do, they put their husband and their kid's father before their kids. I'm not saying you got to take care of your man, whatever. I get that. But everything should be a balance because a lot of them will isolate the the connection and the bond with their kids. They won't take the time to spend individual time with their kids. They don't take the time to conversate with their kids. They don't take the time to interact with their kids. And sometimes women in relationships that um, are dating men that are not the father of the kids, they'll neglect their kids um, like with an emotional type of connection just to please that man. If a man has a problem with your child crying, or if a man has a, ch- a problem with um, any little thing irritates him about your kid because it's not his, that's a red flag. I have been in situations where uh, someone I was talking to had an issue with my son, and I'll go off. Don't you dare disrespect my son. You ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? That's, I don't respect that. If a man really cares about you, and he wants to be with you, he's gonna respect your ch- child too, as if it was his own. Because you, he would want the same thing if he was in that situation with his kids from a different mother, right? I had someone say to me, Recently, oh, even though it's not mine, uh, I, I'm not gonna tolerate the crying. Uh, uh, I'm like, don't you got kids though? Like, that just shows so the kind of person you are. Oh, yeah, you're not really in their life. Okay, <laughs> what can I expect? So, that's a red flag. That's a red flag. You can't handle a baby crying just for a second. Like, that's going to irritate you. I'm not asking you to do nothing. I'm not asking you to change my my son's diaper. I'm not asking you to pick him up when he cries. I'm not asking you to do shit. But you're not going to yell and you're not going to make a scene if my baby's crying. You're not going to tell my baby to shut up. You're not going to tell me to shut my baby up. You're not going to tell me to speak my baby. You're not going to tell me to do any of that crazy shit. So I don't respect a woman that puts... A man before her kids a certain way. There's one thing taking care of your man and then taking care of your kids. But when you act like your kids don't exist, that's a whole nother situation. I see it time and time and time and time again. It's, it's very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate to see. I have been through that. I've seen a lot of other women um, that I know that has been through that. With their mothers. Um, and they wonder why they have these bad relationships with their with their daughters. And their daughters do it to their daughters. You know what I'm saying? It's just a, that's, a, that's a toxic cycle. But they have a good relationship with their sons. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. They disrespect their daughters. Treat them like crap. Neglect them. And it's like, I see parents, like I see some mothers, their hair is done, and their kids' hair ain't done. What's that about? You you look it all nice and, and, and well kept up, and your kids looking like who did it in the rain? Oh, they're going to mess up their hair later. No, 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 no. That's not how it works, baby girl. Don't... If your man has a problem with you entertaining your kids, playing with your kids, interacting with your kids, doing what you're supposed to do as a mother, he ain't the one. I don't care if he's the father. I had a failed relationship with my first because of the fact that I'm I'm trying to make sure that my son good. Oh, well, you got a problem with it? Oh, well. Go be with somebody that don't care about you neglecting your son. 
Like I'm trying to. I have to force my. I have to force myself to sneak my our son around you just to be, for you to be involved in your son's life. Like you rather spend more time with me than your own son. How does that make sense? Make that make sense. If you see someone going through like a situation where they're trying to do the best they can as a mother, or even if they don't have kids, if you see someone that's trying to do their best to take care of themselves and they're struggling, like it could be their hygiene is off, they got stains on their clothes, something's off that you know is not normally them, and they seem very depressed, reach out to them. Don't judge them. Like, you know what I'm saying? I remember I used to bust my ass working, 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 working. I was always working. I was always in my uniform because I was always working. My hygiene was not up to part because I was smoking cigarettes, like I said, that affected my, my hygiene. And I was stressed out. Okay. And like I said, it took me a long time to learn to take proper care of myself, okay? Um, a lot of people fail to realize that smoking can affect your, your body odor, okay? Um, so, yeah, I just, like, you know, so I'm busting my ass, bust my ass. This is mostly, this is mostly my, my feet, you know? But thankfully, as soon as I stopped smoking... And I said this to my son. He hates cigarettes, but I said this to my son. I was like, I know why my feet are like that because all the toxins coming out. I'm working. I'm standing on my feet for hours. I'm smoking cigarettes. He said, cigarettes don't cause body odor. I was like, yes, it does. Like you're, you're like if you whatever you put in, excuse me. You are what you eat. You are what you consume. You you hate the smell of cigarettes, right? I'm putting that into my body of course in the inside of my body is gonna smell like when i put it in if i eat pineapples i'm gonna smell like pineapples so if i'm catering to my man 24 7 24 7 and i'm not catering to myself and i'm not catering to my kids i'm a mess a man shouldn't want that, whether he's the father of the kids or not. And I like that she said the same thing I said in my, my previous video. Do a background check on these men. Take your time to get to know these men. Analyze these men. Because even if they don't have a record, sometimes certain things are not reported. So, do a background check on these men. Because they're not going to tell you everything. They'll tell you bits and pieces, but they're not going to tell you everything. This is just be precautious. Like, sometimes... Oh, yeah, a lot of times people don't understand. Um, I don't understand how these women get into these abusive relationships and they don't leave. If you've never been in that situation, then you'll never understand. Men can find ways to get into the woman's house... Men can find a way to manipulate them, gaslight them, um, guilt trip them. So many things. You don't really know. Like, it's not as easy as you think to get out of a toxic, abusive, domestic, violent, domestic violent type of relationship. If you've never been to any of yourself and you don't, there's no need to call that person stupid, naive, gullible, dumb. You don't know. Like, sometimes it's not hard. It's not... This is how I feel. If you're in a toxic relationship and you got kids with that person, stop making excuses. Like, oh, they're the child. They're the father of my child. You're making it... You're making your kids think that that's healthy to be in those type of relationships. Why be in a relationship or a marriage where you're not happy? If you really cared about your kids... You would do what's right for yourself and those kids. If they can't co-parent with you, I don't know. That just goes to show that they don't really care about their kids. Uh, 
if we're getting back with them to for them to co-parent, because I see this time and time again. If you get them back with their your toxic spouse, for them to co-parent with you and help you watching the kids, that you're just you're you're slowly draining and and killing yourself inside. And you're 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 making these kids think that that's healthy. A toxic relationship is healthy. You think they're not listening. You think they can't hear you arguing. You think that they don't notice. Kids aren't stupid. They see they see things that you don't even realize that they see. Your energy. Your tone. Everything. Kids notice everything. The way you look, the way you present yourself, everything. The way that the, you guys interact with each other. The body language. And love language is not all about gifts and material things. It's about quality times, about how you respect each other, value each other. How they treat your kids, how they treat their own kids. Like, if they, another thing I don't respect is that, like, there's men that will have kids out, like, outside the relationship before their new relationship. And it's like the woman gets, it's like the woman doesn't want the man to be involved in their previous kid's life. They just want their man to be involved in their current kid's life. You know what I'm trying to say? If you really cared about that man, then you're going to care about a part of him that made that previous child or children. That's not, I don't respect that. Like, if you know that a man has kids... And he wants to be in the, his kid's life. You're not going to, like, interfere with that. If you don't trust him with his baby mama, I don't know. You There's there's ways there's ways around that, you know? She has to learn how to trust you over time. You can't just expect his first baby mother or his ex-wife to just automatically trust you with her kids. Takes time. If she's learning to trust you and she's willing to trust you over time, and she sees how you interact with them, or she's getting good feedback from the kids of how you interact with them, that's a different situation. Then good, good. That's when you know that you can trust him with his ex wife or his his baby mama. But if he's being on some sneaky ish, so you know he don't have to pay child support. That's when it's a red flag. Oh, I gotta do what I gotta do because I don't have to pay this child support. I got, I got. That's my baby mom. I'm, I'm, I have the right to sleep with her. She my baby. Mom. Some of you need to grow up, grow up, just grow up. And it seems like the second baby mom acts crazier than the first baby mom. What's that about? But yeah, don't this. We need to stop these stuff because it's not right. We're damaging our kids' future. We're not making things better. I see this time and time and time again. I see parents neglect their kids. Well, it's mostly just the woman. She'll neglect her kids. And then they'll be outside running around with no 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 pants on, just their underwear, no shirt on. They don't eat for hours and she 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 worried about pleasing her man. That's all you care about. Let me please my man so he don't cheat. He's gonna cheat more if he sees that you're not a good wife. If he sees the way you treat your own kids, like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I mean, you can't stop somebody from cheating, like, you really can't. 
They're gonna they're gonna find ways to cheat if they're a cheater. You can't control people. I'm not saying that that's what people should do and that's okay or acceptable, but if they really respect you and they really loved you love you, they're not gonna cheat. If they don't respect you and they don't really love you, they're gonna cheat. I don't care how many times they said they love you. I don't care how many times you guys went out in public. I don't care how many times you guys went out on dates. I don't care how many times he bought you gifts. It don't matter. That doesn't mean anything. There's men that cheat that can be around you almost pretty much every day. You don't even know it. Women too. Women can cheat too. But... I'm getting to a point where I, I honestly don't even think I ever, ever want to get married. I'm all set. If this is what marriage is about, disrespect, infidelity, fraud, scamming, no, I'm all, no, 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 I'd rather be by myself. If you're going to mistreat me, mistreat my kids, nah, we're good. There's people losing their lives in these relationships. It's not even worth it. It really isn't. These people unalive in their kids' mothers. All because they're insecure. And there's men out there that don't even get to the chance to have sex with these women. And because of the fact that they were rejected, they harm these women. And alive these women because they were rejected. They find a way to find them and stop them. They can, and I'm like, are you doing? People need to get help. It's like Joker. He um he had to mask his emotions. For so long. To try himself to be something that he's not. Just to make everyone else happy. Before himself. And that's common. With a lot of serial killers. They have to. Hide their emotions. That's how bipolar comes about. That's how. Schizophrenia comes about. That's how all these mental disorders comes about. Because you have to act like. You're somebody that you don't want to do be to make everyone else happy. You're living for everyone else but yourself. I'm not saying what he does right, but that's how it starts. It's like the kid that gets bullied in school, he had enough. And then he ends up popping everybody and unaliving everybody. They're like, how did this happen? Because the teachers didn't care. The counselor didn't care. They kept letting the kids bully the other kids. They ignored it. Oh, 16 says my bakery bills will work to never... Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That's the worst advice you could ever give a kid. Shut the fuck up. Words do hurt. Words do matter. God bless.